Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back in another part. Not really a back in another part, I suppose. I'm starting a new series here, Quantum Conundrum. So, I've heard lots of good things about this game. It's portal-like, but it's it's got its own unique things, so... I haven't really uh, watched much of it. I've seen some people play it. I haven't seen a lot of it, though. So, I'll be doing the semi-blind, I suppose, but... I think I can handle it. So I guess let's get started. Ah uh, yes, we'll do a new game. And it explodes some dimensions, I suppose. Once upon a time, that's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my, uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Ah, well, I suppose let's see what's going on here. Look around. Well, let's see here. If I configure the trans-dimensional velocity regulator at approximately zero... Seems a little eight, seven, odd, five, but seven, that's okay. Seven, oh! You're here? Yes, we are. I have the most yeah. incredible invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, okay, I'm... Okay, well... <laughs> indisposed I would like moment. to get going. Yes, okay. We open this. If you take your luggage into the foyer, I will join you as soon as okay, I can. Okay, well, let me... Okay, so... Grab our luggage. I'm guessing we have to push the button here. Alright, and then grab the luggage, and let's get going. Oh, you confounded machine! I'm supposed to be like a young child. This luggage must that? be really light. Can I throw it at it? Oh, good. That should be a safety release for the door. So, oh, okay. So I'm supposed to. All right. <laughs> what a puzzle. And then oh, there we go. Something isn't quite right. Grab here. that and head on through. We'll say oh, this seems no, a little no, jerky no, 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 There's something to do with the, uh... Ah! Whoa. Okay. <laughs> um, that's strange. I suppose we probably should get out of the way of that, though. Can I go in there? Hello? Wait. Let's do something. Can I grab these books? I can. Like I said, I'm almost just a young child. How am I grabbing so I books that big? And... I don't know. You, you, you can hear yes, me, I can right? hear you. Jump around a bit yes, if you can. hello. There, I'm jumping. Can you see me? Can you see me jumping? Ah, it seems as if I can still tap Lovely. into the intercom system. Well, I most certainly can do that. Okay. Testing, 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 testing. Can we get going? Testing. Testing! There. Ha! Huh. Much better. Now... Ooh, can we go through there? What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be here yes. today? No matter. We established well, this judging from Come the on. current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. Hmm. My head is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. Ooh, you Do and your me fancy and words. yourself a favor. And head to the front I'm hall. In the front There's hall. There's a way to restart the yeah. power grid. Arnie, come on. Oh, okay. Here we go. Last I remember, I was in the new technology sector, hmm. and then I don't know. Open the door. Open the door. Oh, okay. I was gonna say. Also, did the the graphics just like smooth itself out there. That was really If you head weird. over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's okay, power. So we're going over here? Is that what you're saying? I presume that's what you're saying. Throw that switch there. It should be the one. 
And we have Well, power. that wasn't as effective as I'd hoped. You'll have to reactivate the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just huh. uh, take the glove in the box uh -oh. with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Well, give me. What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS huh. device for short. Sure. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know. Oh, you and your puns. <laughs> your, your punny. I suppose we're supposed to be going to If you this. can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue. Well, I'll go the blue Well, I suppose you should this. start there come first. Come on. All righty. There's something I must tell you. My okay. latest invention has required me to make a few uh, adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Power the door, let's now, go. Now, one of the Thank topics you. that our family has been studying for several generations oh, are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Interesting. Very much like Bioshock. The glove controls recently. the power source, which is. allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Interessante. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. But I want it now. Come on, dude. This door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating gruy day. Or a drinking bird. Except it's far more advanced. How is it more advanced? Still a drinking bird. That's the same thing. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of that's dimension a, accessibility an and the distance it can be from a receptacle <laughs> in order to function. Alright, let's keep on moving. That was a quick chapter. This We're is through such all an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with the drink. We got bird. a drink. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional Enter. shift. Do it. You won't. There's an IDS battery I in the machine it. that will power the dimensions, which in this case is Fluffy Dimension. Oh. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. Oh, so I could like, pick up the safe or something is what you're saying. So we we'll just go over here and grab it, drop it. Oh, Puzzle Master over here. Look at me. Though that looks like a regular oh. scale, it is in oh. fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. Yeah, we'll put you on scale here. Oh, oh, I am just on top of it. I shouldn't be bragging though, because I just... It's the beginning of the game. Easy puzzles. Come on now. Um, there's so there's that the lovely bird thing. Again. So I need to put Sometimes this in there? I call him Desmond. Am I supposed to put that in there? Okay. And then I'm supposed to put the bird Something over Something to note. Since and you're holding I'm a version of the IDS device, safe, you, and then I'm supposed to put it on. Are not the yeah, okay, that actually works. I did not dimension. think that was a mistake. Uh, let me try that again. You remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Well, that's good. Lovely. Well, this is not too bad you so should far. throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mount so is this going to be a thing where we have to find the little receptor for this and then put it in the wall and then remove stuff I think that's probably what we're going to be doing here in this game um I honestly do not see where I'm supposed to put this is it this right there the receptacle is up on the second floor thank alcove. you oh that okay okay that receptacle will distribute the power source oh, hey, around the I room, can... allowing you to now use your IDS cool. device to switch dimensions now. at your leisure. That's pretty neat. All right, let's head on in here. And As I mentioned, continue on our dimensional memory. rifts in the now I can't control it anymore. Come by on. The stabilizing energy from the I wanted IDS to move some statues or something. This is what enables you to also, slip between this dimensions kid jumping off when a you lot are of stairs. The IDS for a very large flight of stairs. I must say. 
Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic Object Linear Ligation Interface. Why Dolly? To you, a cloning device. Okay. I like my house just so. So I, I decided to add functionality to her to keep from everything consistent. I can go through. Oh, shoot! Oh, I'll need to well, later. it's a good thing I don't have health in this game, otherwise that would have been very unfortunate. Let's put you in there, so that way I got cloud power. And I can put you on the weight thing over here. I thought I said, yeah, there it is. And then we can get moving. And now, let me guess I don't have cloud power. Surprisingly, no, I still do have it. Nice. Um... These are my own so particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide, okay, neodymium dope, off the yttrium beams, aluminum garnet lasers, using an alternating ray configuration. I need to get over the there. Kick. That's the issue, isn't it? Oh, hey, I got those, and then that trigger it to shoot more. Or... Oh, hey, okay, you gotta save right here. Hmm. All right, and then I need to get over there. To put a weight on it. Is there a launching thing? I feel like. Oh! Duh! I know what I'm supposed to do. Because it said that it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Helps if I remember all the uh, controls of the game. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. Well, I'll take permission to do it everywhere. Can go over there. Probably should have went on the other side. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm thinking here. What's that? No, that's not gonna work. Thought for some reason. Maybe, just maybe. It would get the glass up. Right. I need the glass up. Um, triggers that. So I am probably honestly overthinking this. And also, why didn't I jump? I'm honestly going to feel really stupid when I figure this out. Probably honestly should have went over the glass. Ah, just letting you know that you oh, reset okay, the glass. Okay. Thank you. I was gonna say that, and then we can do that, and then okay. I was gonna say there's no way I can get across without the uh, glass there. It's ridiculous. Okay, I think we have to bring the safe into this room, and I need to open the door as well so I can. Grab this, I suppose. Is that heavy enough? That is heavy enough. Then... Hey. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic energy, or Ike. <laughs> Ike disappeared. No. Uh oh, shoot. Um. There... Yeah, I can throw it over. Okay. We're safe. And then I can. Throw you over again. Oops. Getting my uh, controls all messed up here. I actually almost landed on the switch. There have been some pro speedrunning tips right there. Continue on our way. And what? Stop for a minute and take a look okay. at the painting. What is it? The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge. That had been in the okay. family since medieval and then, times. What's this? Talk. Talk to me. I want to know Dolly's evolution. But you're not telling me Dolly's evolution. You horrible man. Open the door. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, okay. You know that happens sometimes. A new chapter. All right. Mike. Okay. So in case you're wondering, you turn on the fan. And that... That oh, okay. That, that helps us get into the room. Oh, whoops! I did. 
Ike doesn't become uh, fluffy either. Seriously, I know what I'm doing. Like, it, this makes total sense. There we go. And I'll put you over here. And then give me two more. Now one more. There I go. And then I can open the door. That wasn't too bad. Ah, that's where that got oh, to. What was that? That is a botched experiment of mine called the awkward noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. So that's the collectible of this game. Sometimes laziness should be indulged. And I take it that's supposed to be the collectible of this game. So keep an eye on those noise generators. Jump on this, and we should be able to jump on these little shelves here. And let's go. There we go. There we go. Alrighty. Nice so, I haven't see. discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. You gotta I save me. That's my guess. And see what turns up. Well, this time I'm gonna actually hit the lever before I go through. And a new chapter, and it's getting kind of long for this episode, so I think I'm gonna end it here. If you like this part, I appreciate a like. Any thoughts, comments, concerns, complaints? Leave them below in the comment box. Hopefully you will like this series. I kind of want to play this game because it seems very intriguing and very well made, so very much looking forward to it. So, uh, I'll see you in the next part. Have a good day.